All right, welcome to Talk and Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to talk about Hut8, stock ticker HUT. They are a Bitcoin mining company. We talk about Bitcoin and the Bitcoin miners all the time on this channel. If you're watching this video right now, there's more than a 50% chance that you are not subscribed to the channel. So if this is content that you're interested in, please do us a favor and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Also, if everybody would smash the like button, that helps the channel out a lot, and it helps get the video out to more people. Lastly, there is a link in our pinned comment to our free Discord. So we mostly talk about Bitcoin and the Bitcoin miners over there, but we do talk about all other things investing. So again, that is free. So please come join us over there. I want to talk about HUT8 because they put out their monthly operational update and they had some big things to say in there. I want to take a look at how they performed last month. I also want to continue our series on this channel. We have been going through, as we go through our monthly updates, we've been comparing these Bitcoin miners and seeing how they would hold up in a bear market or a crypto winter. So we're going to take a look at HUT8 versus a crypto winter as well. Then I'm going to let you know my opinion on how I think they would fare in a crypto winter, a bear market, and or a potential bull market that I know right now nobody's thinking about. Right now HUD 8 is trading at $2.20 and this is the middle of the trading day on June 8th. So that leaves them with a $383 million market cap. This is a chart of HUD 8's market cap since it listed on the NASDAQ about a year ago. So you can see that on November 8th, this was a $2.13 billion market cap company. Now again, that is one day before Bitcoin hit its all-time high of 69,000. So that correlation makes sense. However, it has now reduced all the way down to a $380 million market cap company. So that is a radical, drastic decrease. Now, each one of these Bitcoin miners that I've gone through, you've seen a similar progression. This has been seven months of basically down in a straight line. Yeah, we've had a few nice little bull runs inside of what has been a pretty serious bear run. Bitcoin is down quite a bit in this same period of time. However, it is not down anywhere nearly as bad as the Bitcoin miners are down. So you'll see HUD8 is down over 80%. So I like to show this because a lot of people talk about dilution and they think that maybe the price of the stock is low because the company's been diluting. HUD8 stock price hit a 52 week low yesterday and that is not because of dilution. It is because their market cap is decreasing and decreasing. So the value of this company is being reduced over time. So we'll talk about this more at the end when we get to the chart and we'll go through some specific numbers numbers and potential price targets, but let's take a look at their May operational update. Okay, HUT8 mining production and operations update. 7,078 self-mined Bitcoin in reserve after 309 were generated in May. Okay, so they give you the headline right there, but let's dig in and go line by line. Production highlights for May 2022. 309 Bitcoin were mined, resulting in an average production rate of 10 Bitcoin per day. Now on this channel, we like to look at month over month sequential growth. So we know that all the Bitcoin miners are a lot bigger this year than they were last year. So as we compare year over year, it's not extremely meaningful. We expect to see growth on a sequential basis. Now, I will tell you that the month of May, pretty much across the board, was a very lateral month. Almost every Bitcoin miner that's released numbers, they were extremely similar to their April numbers. Some of them were a very little bit lower. Some of them were a little bit higher. But for the most part, whatever increase these companies had in hash rate in the month of May was offset by the increase in the difficulty level. So it was a very stagnant month in general. So you're going to see this is the epitome of that. We have in May 2022, 309 Bitcoin were mined. If I go to the April 2022 production report, 309 Bitcoin were mined. So they literally mined the exact same amount of Bitcoin month over month. So again, this has been typical. This has been pretty much straight across all of the Bitcoin miners. Actually, several of them produced less in May than they did in April. However, there is some good news. So I'm going to read on ahead because I do believe that their June numbers are going to go up considerably. Okay, next they say our Ethereum mining for which we receive payment in Bitcoin generated approximately 14% of the total production at a cost of $3,654 per Bitcoin. So 14% of what they mine, they use GPUs to mine Ethereum and they get paid out in Bitcoin. I know there's some people that thought that they were heavily invested in the mining of Ethereum. Uh, they do have 10,000 GPUs that are currently mining Ethereum. However, if and when Ethereum switches over to proof of stake, those machines are slated to go into Hut 8's data center. And that is a separate line of business that they have been growing. If you want to know more about that line of business, I was able to sit down with Sue Ennis from Hut 8 and we had a long conversation.
Foundation. You can check out that interview. It was just a few days ago. She explains the data center in a much better way than I do. So it's an area of growth. It's an area of cash flow. And again, ultimately, these 10,000 machines are not homeless. They're, they're, they will end up in this high computing data center. Okay, 100% of the self-mined Bitcoin in May were deposited into custody, consistent with Hut 8's longstanding HODL strategy. So there has been a shift away from this HODLing. Hut 8 has not shifted away from HODLing yet. And, and as we go through this, I'm going to show you why. They really have no need to spend their Bitcoin at this point. Okay, next they say, we concluded our Bitcoin yield program during the month, bringing 100% of our reserve into custody. They had two separate yield programs with 1,000 Bitcoin each. So 2,000 of their Bitcoin were lent out and they were receiving 2% interest on that. They severed those relationships and brought all their Bitcoin back under their own custody. Installed operating capacity was 2.64 exahash. That was just ever so slightly an increase over the previous month. However, they do have some good news coming and I'm expecting a big increase in the month of June and potentially July. Okay, additional updates. So let's talk about that. Testing began on Hut 8's third mine in North Bay. So they've had two active Bitcoin mining facilities for a long time. This North Bay facility is their third one. They expected to already have it online prior to this. So it is now finally coming online. So I'm going to read what they say. Testing began on Hut 8's third mining in North Bay, Ontario in late May and began operating at 15 megawatts of power on June 2nd. So that is the first 15 megawatts. They have another 15 megawatts that they expect to come online also basically within the month. Month. So that would be another 400 petahash. So this is going to get them a significant increase in their hash rate. They have been having small incremental increases throughout the last year. However, over the next one to two months, I would expect to see them jump more towards three and a half exahash. Okay, so I'm just going to spend a minute on Hut 8's balance sheet. A lot of other companies over the last six to eight months had very big announcements. 10 exahash, 15 exahash, 20 exahash. They were buying machines as many as they could at any price and Hut 8 was very much in a holding pattern. So rather than have bought a bunch of machines and made giant commitments and obligations at the peak of things, they're now in a position over the next several months to start buying, maybe on the spot market, to start buying machines at a drastically reduced price. Also, as a result of not having giant commitments, they don't have a lot of cash outflow, right? A lot of other companies have hundreds of millions of dollars that they've committed to pay for the rest of these machines. We're looking at 400. $53 million in current assets, and we have $22 million in current liabilities. So that is extremely healthy. That is an A-plus level current ratio of 20 to 1. They would not only survive a crypto winner, but I think they would be in a position to take advantage of a crypto winner and increase their presence in the marketplace as far as it pertains to Bitcoin mining. All the while, they have an unrelated business in their data centers that is cash flow positive, so that helps as well. In management's discussion, of the first quarter earnings. You'll see under commitments, they say the company has a $50 million open term revolving line of credit facility with Galaxy, which the company can draw on as additional source of liquidity. So if they move into an extended crypto winter or, or just an extended bear market, this is another $50 million that they can access that will help them through that. They have $78 million of cash on their balance sheet. They have hundreds of millions of dollars of cryptocurrency on their balance sheet. They have very little liability they have this $50 million, and in addition to that, they have an at-the-market offering, which they've used about 50% of. It's a very small at-the-market offering, so it's really not something hanging over their head, but they've got about another $35 million that they can draw down off of this if they have to. My guess is this is their last option out of the three, but their, their cash run rate is only about $4 million a month based on their last few quarterly earnings reports. So even over the course of a year, you're talking about needing only 40 or 50 million dollars, even if they contribute zero from their mining operations just to cover their cash overhead. So it's unlikely that they would be contributing zero. So they would need some amount less than that. And you can see they have access to money both through cash on hand, cryptocurrency on hand, the potential with a line of credit and through an at the market offering. So to me, these guys are set up better than any other company that I can find, in my opinion, to not only survive a crypto winter, but probably thrive in that environment. I'm 
sure they're not necessarily rooting for that, but I do think they will start making some moves sooner than later to add to their Bitcoin mining capacity because they have stated they want to be at six exahash by the end of the year. So you can see all the different levers they can pull from a cash flow standpoint in order to purchase machines and get to that level of exahash. And they will do so at a rate where the ASIC machines are much cheaper than they were over the course of the last year and a half. So we'll take a quick look at the chart. Yesterday, although it was a green candle because they finished higher than they started, yesterday they hit a 52 week low and you can see they've been bouncing along the bottom at or near a 52 week low since May 11th. That's almost a full month. We're on the one day time frame here. So for the last month, they've been hanging around just over $2 and they have not really been able to get back to this $3 price point. When On January 24th, when Bitcoin bottomed out at $33,000, they hut eight formed a pretty strong line of support here at about $4.50. That's this blue line right here. This line held all the way until the middle of April. Now, we've been more in the $29 to $30,000 range for Bitcoin. We're at $30,487 right now as we speak. And we did flash crash down to about $25,000. So, so if I just look at HUT8 getting back to where they were at the beginning of May, this is just one month ago. That would represent an 80% increase in the price of HUT8's stock. If HUT8 could get back to where it was trading on March 28th, now on March 28th, this was one of those little bull markets inside of the Bitcoin bear market. Bitcoin ran up to $48,000. So if Bitcoin was able to have another nice run like that sometime between now and the end of the year, this would be a 202% increase in the price of HUT8 stock. And remember, HUT is a much bigger company than they were at this time, and they continue to grow. So these are two realistic price targets, in my opinion. Again, this is not financial advice. There is a risk reward. Again, as I mentioned, they just hit a new 52-week low yesterday. So all these Bitcoin miners have been a falling knife. So I want to just tell you to be careful and do your own due diligence and, and know your own risk tolerance uh, before you make any buying decisions. So that's all I got for you on HUT8. If you're still here, remember to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. Thanks so much for watching and we will catch you in the next video.